What's going on guys? So I just uploaded my last video. Um, it was about an hour long, um, me talking about breeding fish for profit. I'm um, really excited about that video. Hope you get some good feedback. Hope I can help a lot of people and uh, catch people's interest. But it's been a while since I did my last tank update. Um, I was doing this series of 43 tanks. Uh, today's tank is tank number eight. I'm gonna go ahead and show that. Um, but it's getting kind of late. I just put my bird away. I'm gonna do a little nighttime feeding before I go to bed and kind of turn all the lights off and the timers go off on us. But um, let's take a close look at tank number eight and let's go through and just kind of, I'm freestyling how I always do, just shooting the footage, see how it comes out, share it with you guys. Um, let's take a close look at tank number eight. It's getting a little dirty, I apologize. Um, doing a few water changes tonight, um, just on my rams, cause it's been over a week. And the other guys, I'm gonna make them kind of push through, maybe go 10 days to two weeks. Every once in a while it's healthy to let your fish go a little bit longer on a water change especially when you're breeding them um, when you're keeping them for care i mean try to stay real strict at water chain schedule uh, that doesn't change when you're breeding fish you got to keep on that schedule and really clean their tanks but you want them to be hardy too you want them to be handle different water quality at times because once you sell them they're going to see something totally new so you want them to be able to adapt a little bit um, but let's go ahead let's look at tank number eight not gonna look at it too long and i'm gonna go through I fed maybe five or six tanks, but there's still a bunch more to feed. We'll go through and feed those tanks real quick, but uh, let's take a close look at tank number eight. Here it is, guys. So this is the tank of a 55 gallon. I have some bristlenose plecos in there, and I have guppies. So the guppies right now are pretty assorted. Um, it's a bit of a sale tank slash grow out tank right now. Uh, if we can get a closer view on these guys and fight the glare, I have a whole bunch of assorted different types of guppies in here because uh, these aren't trying to be bred. They're pulled from different tanks of uh, breeders. So I have a variety of things. I have some yellow deltas. I have some fancy guppies. I have some super reds, some yellow half blacks. Um, this guy's really cool if I can get to zoom in. I lost them already. Those are really nice. Fancy guppy in there. Sorry guys, I know I gotta zoom in and Refine that fish. I think I lost him. This might be him down here Where is he? I see him. But I can't get the camera on him Him right there. That's a really cool fancy look fancy guppy We lost him again <laughs> Sorry guys, but he had a really cool tail on him and his top fin That's him right there chasing that female. That's a really cool looking fish. It's got a nice uh, rounded off tail It's not really a Delta and if you saw them when I pointed them out, you can kind of see them in the middle of the view and that swarm. His top fin's real long. It's starting to focus, yeah, right there. So that's like a rainbow effect of colors. Really cool fish. Got some uh, nice big female purple deltas. Uh, I have some babies in here from them breeding on accident, but they're all doing well in here. There's that big old, uh, albino male pleco got some medium-sized babies some small babies it's a little albino on the sponge filter i just recently added a let me see i wrote it down we got a male super red and a long fin female and that's why i added that second flower pot it's kind of my breeding caves that i make this little baby guppy there too kind of cool i i always Every single time I get excited when I spot baby guppies for the first time. Uh, speaking of that, I know I'm just trying to stay focused, but in here I spotted a baby for the first time today from our um, fancy guppy project. So that'd be the second time I've had babies in here. And of course I can't see him anymore, but he's at the top of the water, he probably jumped to the plants. I just put a bunch of flake food, sorry I just bought the camera. Bunch of flake food in there to make sure the parents are staying fed and the babies get some first bites, um, not first bites food, but they get their first bite of food from me feeding them from since they were born. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I got some nice fancy guppies. I got some, a variety of assorted sail tank. I put some smaller ones in there that will have to grow out, but I was in the middle of um, orders. So I sold, a, I sold this tank empty. I had two guppies left. 
they're up in that 29 gallon now you can see the one female and they actually had babies too and those ones i mean they're nice females so the babies i will grow and sell but there's not really going to be any um breeding projects off of that unless i do it intentionally those fish are just going to be grown out and sold as a uh, just good pets so that's kind of cool i can see a purple male over here really fanning off and displaying They'll go through and they'll kind of slow down, they'll shimmy, and they'll show off how beautiful they are to the females. They say, hey, check out me, and they try to breed with them. He's really cool, he's got some nice colors. I wish I could breed them all. I have some other uh, holdbacks of that uh, strain that I'm breeding, but that one's really cool. I mean, every time I spot them in here, I almost don't want to sell them, and that's a good thing. If I got fish that I, I don't want to even get rid of, that means I'm selling fish that I think people enjoy and love. And that's really cool. So I'm growing these out. I added some new plecos in here to breed. I'm actually going to end up removing this male. Um, he's proven with a female, a common female. I think that's... I think that's her. Yeah, right there. That's her on the wall. Oh, no, that's a long fin. Sorry, I'm fighting a really bad glare right now. It's dark in here. Like I said, it's time to cut off the lights. But this is tank number eight. I can't really go too in depth because it's similar than things I've done before. Hopefully I got a few close up shots of the guppies that look nice. Um, I really wish I could just sit here for a while, get all the right lighting and show off some of these fish. But there you, there you have it. Hopefully you spotted some cool ones. You get the idea. This tank is growing fish out for sale, holding fish for sale and breeding some plecos. Um, but now, I got my uh, containers this is cobalt, but it's not really cobalt food. It's my guppy flake food. Uh, I've talked about that before. I'll post a link on the food. If I buy this in bulk, it's a pretty good price. Um, we'll go ahead and feed these guys. When I'm feeding guppies, I really just grind it up as I'm feeding it, and they'll get a little bit there. Since there's a lot in here, and I've sold a lot of fish, I've been giving them minimal feedings. So not minimal, I still feed them twice a day, but I don't throw too much food in there because I don't want a uh, big change on the sponge filter. Whenever I'm selling the fish, I want to keep them fed, but I'm not really trying to promote breeding. I don't want them to be super fat and uh, full. So whenever I do sell them, they're not going to the bathroom in the bags. And if they breed and eat the fry, it's not a big deal because I don't really want them breeding. And I don't want too many fry. If I have some, uh, fish breeding on accident if they uh if they all make it and i have like 200 extra guppies i'll grow them out and sell them but it really kind of slows down my other uh prioritized breeding but here's that tank number seven we showed before these guys will get some food i think i fed them a little pinch before i started the video so they're probably not starving but they're still gonna eat all that food no problem and we're just gonna go through and feed all these tanks um, I fed my tanks over here. The rams got some pelleted food. I'll go through and get some algae wafers. Um, these angelfish below got some flake food. I'll give them a little bit more because they never can get enough. The crossbreeding project got some, like I said, because there's babies, but I already see it's all gone. So I'll add a little bit more in there because I want them to be nice and full. I don't want those babies to get food. I don't want them to start preying on their babies. Because I'm not, I, didn't, I only spotted one. I didn't see a whole bunch of them. So they may be breeding it right now. I mean, uh, having babies right now. Uh, this tank is the baby rams. They got some live baby brine shrimp before the video. And some pellets. But I'll give them some more. Because there's some uh, baby plecos down there as well. And if that sinks and goes to the bottom, they'll clean it up. These guys got food, there's only a trio for a future breeding, um, next generation. So they're good, they don't need any more. They're still not big enough to be dropping fry, but they're close to it, so not to feed them too heavily. Down here we have some purple guppies growing out, doing well. They got a little bit of food, but what's a little more? They love food. <laughs> and I'm kind of trying to hold my food under my arm and hold the camera all at the same time. But over here, we can take a look at these guppies in my uh, spotted plecos. 
This one looks like she's got a little bit going on in her back. I might have to treat her. I'm really trying not to. But um, that yellow one's doing well. We got some babies down here, I think, from the yellow female. So I'm curious what they come out to be. If they end up being males, who knows? Maybe if I have a nice male, I'll breed back to the yellow female. But that'll be a long-term project. I don't really know if I'm going to end up doing it. Got the plecos in here. These are the spotted plecos. You can see that guy there's got the spot behind his eye. Let it focus in. Nice young female, it looks like. Sorry, I can't really get a good shot. This one has a little black spot in the bottom of its fin, right by the base and on its spine. Have some over here. Let's see if we can get some better shots of these guys because they're really cool. That one on the back wall has a spot on his spine. Some of the spots are getting smaller on these guys, but they definitely still are holding it. It's staying true. It's not uh, disappearing by any means. Here's one I was looking for. That just went behind the flower pot, but you probably can see a blurred shot of them. They'll get some flake food. And then also get algae wafers down there. I have my uh, plecos, whole bunch of them. They're getting algae wafers. This tank here is, it was a, half black yellow that did not breed true at all. I got a whole bunch of stuff so these will get sold as assorted and that female will be I'm gonna catch all of these sell them and then uh, find all the babies which will take me a while and then I'll put a new trio in there but they're doing good still the plecos are breeding awesome I have a lot of cool long fins, and they're producing some albinos, commons, calicos, super reds, you name it. I did a big video on that tank before. This tank here, I got some criticism because it's so dirty, but they're doing amazing. Uh, I got some yellow half black guppies, they'll get, they'll get some flake food. And then all those plecos will get a whole bunch of algae wafers. Up top, we got our red deltas, a whole bunch of them. Sorry for me shuffling through the camera. Uh, I plan on selling a lot of these, growing out the rest, picking my nicest male and two females to redo this process. Cause I'm getting uh, a lot of variety in these. I wish I wasn't. So I need to kind of cut back and redo this next generation. Some of those females don't really look like a true super red but it's all part of it. Up here we have some more purples. Um, I'm gonna start speeding this up. Through food and all those, they have purples. We got yellow half blacks, there's a male and some babies. I removed the female to drop fry another tank. Some more purples. It's really hard to do with holding all this stuff in my hand. A whole ton of uh, German Blue Rams. They'll get a ton of crushed flake food. They already got some pellets. These are some yellow half black fry that are actually really cool. Some of them are like all yellow. So, I mean, it's not really desired, but it's really cool fish. I'm kind of curious how I'm getting It's cool when I split them up and I drop a female in three different tanks and they're all the same fish, but I get different uh, outcomes. It just tells me, it helps me narrow down which fish to keep breeding, which ones to stop breeding. Um, what I need to change in the strain, but they're almost like a lemon color or like an albino, but they're not pretty cool Down here. I have uh, Some red snake skin some rams some uh, Blue guppies that actually showed up a little bit yellow And I'm just showing this real quick This tent this video is gonna mainly be um, Taking up rate, so I don't want to spend three times as much time on everything else. Down here I have some purple fry. They'll get some real small food. This is a purple delta tank. They got a little bit clamped on me so I treated them with two rounds of general cure. They're already perking up. These are just some fancy guppies and they're 
really a wide range of um, babies because they were extra. I just tossed them in there. They had a small amount of babies, so they'll just get sold. Here I have the purple deltas. They definitely need to start getting fed more because they're having babies, but I don't have a lot in there. That means they're feeding on the fry and they're still hungry. Over here I have an empty tank. I'm about to rescape. Here it's more purple deltas and a long fin pleco pair. We got some um, red deltas. The purple deltas before. I think I said red. I forget. These are the red deltas. Up here I got my rams. They got some pellets. I give them a real small amount of food. Some female only rams that are getting a lot bigger since I removed the males already. It's only been a week. But they ate some pellets and they ate some loach wafers. Putting on size. I'm thinking next week, maybe one or two water changes from now. I'm going to go ahead and add that like stud male that I have in my eyes. I think this is awesome. Up here we have my discus. They'll eat flake food because if they don't eat what I feed, I don't keep them. And... That's just the way it goes. So these guys I've raised some babies and that flake food's too small. I already fed them too. But they will eat it. They eat flake food primarily as their diet. But this is guppy flake. They really like the beef heart flake. But they're picking at it as I'm looking at my eyes over my shoulder. These are some yellow half blacks. Female on the back, some fry. Some of her babies growing out that are turning out to be males. Some fancy guppies. I have to feed these fish regardless, and I don't spend 10 minutes feeding fish ever. So I'm just showing you guys what I can. In here I have a female half black somewhere up there. And I find that they do better whenever they're in a pair. Or I throw some medium sized babies because she's just kind of acting sluggish. Uh, they like to swim around with more fish. Um, they, you know, I don't know if they get lonely or what happens. or. But that's how they'll start absorbing their babies and things like that. So you want to keep them less stressed. They like to be in little groups somewhere around the buddy. So I think I'm going to give her another male. I'll put her back in a colony breeding tank. Here's some rams there. We got pelleted food. We got our long fins growing out for future breeders. In here we have a pair of red deltas. And the super reds. Here we have some fancy guppy projects. All the fry. That was all the ones we removed from tank number four. Here's uh, another fancy guppy project. This is project number one, the other one's project number two. So same concept, different fish. And I have some super red babies in there. Super red plecos. Come on, focus. They're in there, a bunch of snails. Down here, both these tanks, I got some guppies and plecos. Whole bunch of plecos in here. All those plecos. Then we got some fancy guppies. These were like a red uh, snake skin, but they're not breeding true. They're not doing well for me. They need more time, and I'm running out of females, so I have to grow the babies out. I might just sell them off and just keep uh, less drains. They're not even on my website yet. Here's another one of the snakeskin males. He had a female and they had some babies, but the babies look a little sorted. These last two tanks, you're not gonna be able to see much. Got the red, uh, yellow half blacks in the 55. I got my stud males in the 20 gallon tank with a pair of fancy guppies that actually had some babies. Let's see if we can see those. That, that's how we'll end this. Let's find some baby guppies. Give me a second. There you go, you can see some of them up there. They hate the top above this floating moss ball. There's a ram, but it's dark. I mean, it's nighttime, you can't really see much. But that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Quick little uh, feeding before the, I'd hit all the lights off. Um, I might kind of grind it out and do that extra, extra water changer too, like these rams right here, a few other ram tanks that are heavily stocked, um, they need those water changes. 
Um, I'll probably spend a half hour and do maybe three or four water changes. We'll see. If not, I'll do it tomorrow morning before work. But there's tank number eight, a little bit of talk, a really shoddy video of some feedings. I apologize, but it's some content. You guys can see it. You can see what's going on. Um, I'm posting videos. Please, please, please check out that breeding fish for profit video. Um, I just me talking for about, it, it's about an hour long video. So I mean, sit back, um, grab a snack, watch that video. It's going to be a little bit longer, but I think it's really interesting, especially if you want to breed fish and you watch different people's videos to kind of get some inspiration, some ideas, um, see if you really can do it, how hard it is. It's not that hard. Put the time in, get the right supplies, get the right fish to start with. But uh, check that video out. I'm real excited about it. If it gets 10 views or 100 views or a thousand views, it doesn't. I don't. It's not what I'm looking for, and it doesn't really bother me if I get a lot or a little. If I can help one or two people and I can interest some people, I, I excited myself. I was. I don't know how to say. I'm losing my words, but I was had fun doing it. I think it's cool content. Go check that video out. And it's late. I definitely need to stop talking on camera. So till next time. Have a good one. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Like this video if you liked it. Comment below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And hit that notification bell. I never talk about that, but if you want to get notified when my videos are up, hit that bell. Anytime I post a video, it'll pop up in your feed. You can watch it. You don't have to search for it. And it'll help you out. It'll help me out. And I'll wrap it up saying that. Have a good one, guys.